Alright, it's April 4th, 2019. Hello, day traders. Uh, got one trade today I wanted to show you. Uh, I only took one trade today, so it's the only one I'm going to show you. Um, but uh, I'm also going to show you where I got it from the scan, my trade idea scan that I got it from, that I've mentioned, I mentioned a while ago. I haven't been using it as much, um, this particular scan, but I tweaked it a little. So um, if I do start live streaming during the day, during the trading hours, um, uh, when the market's open, I might put this scanner up. It doesn't pop up a ton of alerts, but um, it does uh, um, have some good winners in it when it does uh, show. So you can see this is what it, it's a VWAP 200 moving average wedge is what I call it. Um, basically, it looks for, I'll show you what it looks for because I'll show you the trade I took today. Um, let's see, here it is, in Intel Sat. Now, you can see where I got in here. Got in long here at around, uh, what, what did I, I got my trade at, uh, 1567, right here, you can see the marker, and then there was a quick burst, right, so I took some out right here at 1593, uh, um, I was looking for it to get up to 16, um, but when I saw this quick burst up, I scalped out, uh, some of my shares, and then I went kind of sideways, and then shot up again, and when it came back down from this, because I thought this might be a big topping tail, which it ended up being, look, big drift down after that i got the rest of my shares here 1596 so um 1593 took out half 1596 took out the other half uh now why did i get in this trade so you can see what this view app wedge uh looks for um, i'm not going to show you all the parameters um all the uh criteria um but what it does look for is stocks that are above vwap moving up above vwap and then they're cr when they cross this 200 moving average, uh, this five minute chart 200 moving average. Now everybody knows what the 200 moving average on a daily chart. Um, if you're position trading or swing trading, that's a very crucial moving average. The 200 um, simple moving average on a, uh, uh, a daily chart. Um, but it's also pretty helpful on, date, on a daily, on an intraday chart. Um, I find that when stocks are moving up nice and smooth, or even if they see this isn't even that, that, that smooth, but moving up above VWAP, um, and it looks like the VWAP might cross the 200 and the stock is going to cross 200, it can use that as a springboard to, to continue it further. Um, and I showed this back a while ago, or in one of the earlier videos, um, but I kind of drifted away from this because uh, it wasn't giving me a lot of good alerts. So I've tweaked it. I've kind of narrowed the criteria now so it only looks for specific stocks with a certain amount of volume. Uh, at a certain amount of uh, average daily volume, relative volume, um, and at a certain point of the day, basically, um, and a couple other things. But uh, so you can see what happened here. Moved up, got up here above 200 moving average. So I got in right away. I put my stop maybe. I think I got it. What did I say? 57. I think for uh, 67. I got in at, and I put my stop probably down around 50ish. Yeah, I think it was like a 17 cent stop. And as soon as it jumped up to 93, I got out, like I said, and then took the rest out here. So, which was good because it kind of drifted back down. And I would have gotten stopped out if I hadn't taken out my shares because it went down all the way to, you see this dotted line here. That's yesterday's close. Bounced off that a little. And then had a little, look at this little double bottom. And then, boom, shot up again. Um, so I wasn't paying attention to it at this point. But if I had, I might have thought of getting in again here at 1587. Um, cause then look what happened. It went all the way up to 1692. I mean, I got in at 1567 and it went up over a dollar from there. But like I said, I would have been stopped out if I had stayed in with any of my shares. Um, so this was basically a nice scalp play, which I think this, this, um, scanner is basically going to show me a lot of scalping plays. Cause, um, a lot of times these quick bursts over the 200, they don't last at least not immediately, you know, long term. you can see what happened, but um, and I'll show you a few from a few others from this scan today that that kind of fit that criteria And you can see there's not that many, you know starting at 940 I was first alerted and there wasn't really that many throughout the day So but one of the reasons that I got in this I was really eyeing this right away when it popped up in the scan is because this stock has done this before I'm going to show you April 2nd. Look at this uh, This popped up on that scan. I just showed you on this scan back on April s uh, What is this April 2nd? Yeah, April 2nd Look at this. It, just it popped up when it crossed yesterday's close, and it came real close to the 200 moving average. I think it was alerted at 1549, and it just had a huge spike up um, and got all the way up to uh, 1635, so almost a dollar from the alert on April 2nd. So that's why when it came up again today, I was really 
eager to jump in because I said it has a tendency to to do this on this 200 moving average. If you've seen a stock do something before at, on a certain type of um, uh, with a certain type of uh, uh, you know strategies, you know, certain moving averages is behaving a certain way around moving averages, you know, pay attention because it might do it again the next time. So, and then I think it did it again at another time. So it was this was the third time I said, you know what, I'm not going to miss out on this. Um, well, this was a good day here on March 29th. I kind of bounced up here and rose up. So um, I knew it had potential. I think I think there was one other day that it did this. Um, maybe not. Um, either way, it was it was a good trade. I, I mean, I saw this and I said, you know what? I'm not going to allow myself to miss out on this one since it did it a few days before the same thing. And when I took this pop, I got out. So that was good. So I'll show you some of the ones that I didn't get into that popped up on this alert as well. Um, I think Nike was one. So you can see here this little wedge here. That's why I call it the wedge. I think the alert was what I'm, you know. I'll show it you on my trade ideas. Um, okay, I'll zoom in here. So you can see um, the trade ideas doesn't have the 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 200 moving averages correct here because of the pre-market um, movement. But you can see it alerted here and then it jumped up. 1850. I think the alert was what 8467. It got up all the way to 8518. So that was a pretty decent jump. Um, I think there was another one that fit. Oh, Picar did that? Yeah, Picar. So look at this. I put a little arrow here. I wanted to get in here at 1680, Um Mine had gotten stopped out. I probably would have put my stop below the 200 moving average. So I probably would could have stayed in. Um, I didn't get in because I got into Intel Stat, Intel Sat, um, and look what happened. Big jump. Look at that, that's a huge jump. Um, almost 50 cents in five minute candle. And then it kept going. So this would have been from 68.60 all the way to 69.42. So almost a dollar. Um, again, showing up right here at 9.57. Um, and let's see, where's the other one? Um, I think BHC didn't. No, nah, that didn't work out. Some of them are just too sloppy. Yeah, that did, oh some. I think some was yeah. So it was approaching here 10:33. Had a little 16:06 to about 16:26. So not a huge gain there, and then it kind of faded. I think Walmart kind of came close. Yeah, look at this. I love this how it's kind of consolidating inside this little wedge, and then the alert was at 10:39. So probably right about here. Uh, yeah, 97.56 and got all the way up to 97.76. Um, 20 cents dropped back down, but look, it rested right on the 200 moving average and then continued back up. So some of these are, I, I take these as scalps when they pop up real quick, um, but long term, you can kind of watch these things and see how they beha behave over the long term. They might actually see, look at this. Oh, ten, this is a good one. 10.44 right here um, at 81.28. And it got all the way up to, oh man, 82.08. So 80 cent. Wow, that was a good one. Missed out on a lot of these today because I was just preoccupied with um, uh, Intel Sat. Um, so yeah, you can see this is a pretty good scan. I might start streaming this during the day. Um, ATI, I think that was another one. Yeah, kind of 11.39. Yeah, right around here, start creating that wedge. 26.14 up to 26.45. Not a huge jump. This one doesn't move a lot. This is a percentage mover, really. Um, 2417, 24.30. Uh, but you could just see how it's how it's fitting that mold. You see this wedge being created. Um, well, this was just a later later in the day. 1208 alerted at 1848 and got up to 1877. So not bad, not a bad game. Um, so yeah, you can see why I like this this uh, particular um, scan because it really does show a lot of um stocks that are ready to just take a quick spike up and you can scalp it and you know this this trade took me i was in and out within less than it was just, let's say i got in at 1008 and i got out at 1038 almost exact yeah exactly 30 30 minutes it took and my day was done so um you know that's the beauty of day trading you can you can be done in less than a half an hour sometimes um so yeah, so this this worked out well. So I'll hopefully live stream this um, down the road. I will. I, I've said I'm going to live stream the pre-market scan uh, that I have that has been really helpful. Um, actually, I think this was a Holly trade. I'm just going to check this out. Yeah, this was. I was a Holly trade. It got in. A, it was a little late though. You could see here. Holly said to get in here. Um, it was a quarterback um, 
this is the AI that Trade Ideas has, um, the scanner. Um, you can see it got in at 16.54, and it, I think it got stopped. Did it get stopped out? No, it just reduced risk. So it took some profit. Um, but hey, I beat Holly to the game. I beat Holly to the punch here. I was in way early. Um, and I probably, if I'd been paying attention around here, I probably would have gotten in and again. So, um, but yeah, this this ended up being a Holly trade. Um, oh, and fun, fun. What is that doing? Yeah, whatever. So anyway, um, I I was the big trade for me today. Uh, it was a great great trade, and um, I'm gonna paying attention to this to the scan for a little bit uh, going forward because I did tweak it, like I said, because it wasn't giving me many very many trades early on. Um, and now it's doing pretty well, so I'll keep an eye on it. All right, uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. Hopefully, I'll be live streaming my pre market scans either tomorrow or beginning next week. Um, all right, happy trading.